we're not going to get, crucially, to vision zero, zero deaths on our roads by 2050 without a very big contribution from connected and automated vehicles in the future. I'd go so far as to say we're not going to get there unless we have prevalence of these cars on our roads. However desirable that is, it's going to be very difficult. We have a lot of work to get there. We need to ensure there's a joined up approach with regards to road safety. So there's going to be a bunch of new technologies that are going to improve the, road, the safety of vehicles, such as advanced emergency braking, lane keep assistance and many more. And ultimately, with the Road Infrastructure Safety Management Directive, there's the opportunity to uh, ensure that there's better auditing of roads, better design, better maintenance. But we need to ensure that what's being proposed through the Road Infrastructure Safety Management Directive is, uh, is, is joined up with what's being um, proposed with the General Vehicle Safety Regulation. I think we're very close to achieving agreements here. We just need to make sure that the, the fine detail is, is, is lined up well between the two pieces of legislation. Automated driving is uh, one of the most important uh, uh, tasks in safety for the coming, uh, coming years. But we should not forget that the human driver itself is a quite good controller for the complex traffic situation itself, provided that he is sober, that he is not distracted by anything else. So we, to a certain extent, have to make sure that an uh, automated system is as good as the uh, normal driver. And holistic approach is very important too. To focus also on the infrastructure, improve the infrastructure, to focus on training for, um, for the drivers, and last not least, to focus on enforcement where is it needed. We've got legislation that would require member states to set performance requirements for roads and signs in layman speak to make sure that they're legible and readable, including by these new cars. And then we've got a very big important package on vehicle safety. We're now starting to introduce some of the new active safety measures, automated emergency braking, and this very important thing called um, intelligent speed adaptation. We do not have autonomous cars in our European streets and the responsibility is the drivers. So this doesn't replace, all this um, development doesn't replace the responsibility consciousness of the driver. Um, and that doesn't um, mean that the education should stop sensibilizing the drivers all the time and other road users you know, that uh, it's a very dangerous occupation. We're, you know, we're talking about the uh, vehicle safety technologies and infrastructure. We also need to recognize that there's an importance to ensure that uh, drivers are being trained adequately enough to use a lot of these new technologies, that there's adequate awareness raising about the responsibility that drivers have. And I think in addition, we need to look at EU legislation, potentially the driving license to directive to see how that could potentially be amended in the Commission's next term. Uh, ultimately, technology, when it works well, can be very useful, but we've got to recognise that cars are still today, at least for the foreseeable future, are being driven by a human, and we need to ensure that, that humans also are being adequately trained uh, in this area as well.